my friends, welcome to my channel. Horses on your soil. We can't run out of that opportunity, of course, never with Russia, never with Russia. But we need to understand that uh, Putin will never support that the guy who is losing and Lukashenko lost. He will never do it. But we could have that intervention that is happening softly and that deep integration that might happen very quickly. That's why we say again and again that jointly for the first time ever west need to come up with a very strong plan in order to show to russia who is stronger who is stronger democracy or dictatorship so how do you feel about for example eu council president Charles michel just the other day saying that while europe stands by the people of belarus as he put it in the end he said any resolution of this crisis must be found inside Belarus, not in Brussels or in Moscow. Now, that was his way of saying, there's not much we can actually do here. And um, EU uh, Commissioner on Industry or Marketing, he said last week that uh, Belarus is not part of Europe. And uh, Belarus is located in between Europe and Russia. This is that knowledge that European Union has on Belarus. And that's absolutely shameful what is happening. And that's exactly like what Borrell said yesterday when it was announced that we will talk to Lukashenko. So again and again and again you feel for 26 years, people of Belarus feel betrayed. So the question is, like when for God's sake, European Union will wake up and act properly when European Union will show its force. And it looks like well, that, if I may say, is that, stronger than democracy. That brings me back to the beginning. He, Lukashenko hasn't buckled, whatever you say. Your husband the other day said, fundamentally, we will never go back to the way things were. He said a massive transformation is taking place. It's just not clear how long it will take. How can you be so sure of that? Given you're not getting what you want from Europe, how can you be so sure you're people, on the winning side? People of Belarus made their choice. It's not possible to put back that idea of freedom anymore. There is no way back for people. It's not possible for people to continue to live in the country that is led by the person who they hate, who tortured them, who raped them, who killed their relatives. It's simply no way back. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.